what's up guys bp mods hoster aka the android modder on xda um today i'm going to be showing you how to install the fast boot files for the lg realm or the twrp recovery um before we start what you're going to need you're going to need this raw app right here and you're going to need this mega app right here you need to go to the app store and download both of them when you're downloading mega it's called mega v2 you're going to download that you're going to create an account and sign in and then you're going to come to the link in the description, it'll bring you to the XDA developers forum, and it's gonna bring you to to my post. You can come here and you can find where my post is. If this will load, hurry up and load. There it is. This is my post. Read it because there's warnings and shit, and it tells you how to do stuff. You know, just read it, and then you're gonna come and you're gonna click the first link. You can that's the mega link. You're gonna download that to your phone. Once you have that downloaded, it will be in your file manager all files internal storage and it'll be in here called in a folder called mega mega downloads lg realm you're going to click on it it's going to open the winrar app it's going to bring you there you're going to open this folder and then you're just going to check rom toolbox pro the readme and the w5c twrp bumped image the trapk this one that's to root your phone if you're not already rooted. And this one up here is root check. This one down here you don't need. That's when I accidentally put it in the file. But anyway, if you're already rooted, you're not going to need the TRAPK or root check. And if you're not rooted and you're and you're doing this, um, you're going to need super user and busy box before you start. Okay, now that we have that, we need to go here. Browse. One level, one level ringtones this is just where i'm putting it you could put it wherever just make sure you know where you're putting it okay you're gonna extract it skip skip okay now that's done you're just gonna back out of there you're gonna open your file manager back out of all of that stuff back out of the roar app Okay, now you're gonna come here. You're gonna go to your internal storage. You're gonna go to where the to the folder that you put all your stuff in, and you're gonna have this app. You need to install that first. Um, you know what? Read the README first, cause this is like the most important part. Read this carefully. There is warnings in here. There's what's in the update, and yeah, I also shout out to that one person, 760 on YouTube. He made the video for the first update I made. Okay, so after you're done with that, you're going to install the Toolbox Pro. I already have it installed. It's right here. You're going to open this. And this is where people mess up. You're going to go to ROM Installer. You're going to click the three dots at the top right. And you're going to hit Flash Image. Make sure that is on recovery. So many people put it on boot. That will make your phone a break. Don't put it on boot. Put it on recovery. Make sure it's on recovery. Then you go to select image. You go to the fo to the folder where you put all your stuff, and you're gonna select the W5C TWRP bumped image. And then you're gonna hit flash. Once it's done flashing, you can go into the recovery, and you need to go into the settings. You need to click on screen, and then you need to uncheck the box that says enable screen timeout. Once you uncheck that, you could go and do a backup of your phone. I highly recommend you do a backup of your phone before you install any root apps or any tweaks to your phone. Because um, if you break your phone, there is no ROMs for this phone, so you're pretty much stuck with a paperweight. Anyway guys, BP Mods Hoster, aka the Android Modder on XDA. See you guys next time.